What's up guys and welcome to another Total War Attila online battle. This is just a friendly battle that I played against Vim from the RTK clan. Uh, excellent player um, and I just, you know, asked him if he wanted to play a couple games and he was like, sure. Um, so in this matchup I've taken the Huns and uh, Vim has taken the Jutes, no sorry, the Saxons. I've taken a very, very weird build with the Huns, trying to maximize on these Hunnic mounted bows and their uh, 50 missile damage uh, arrows. Um, I've got a total of 4 Hunnic Mounted Bows and a Hunnic Warlord General. I popped Brace uh, so that I could increase their attack, but I, this is when I thought the Brace uh, affects missile damage as well. It doesn't. Um, so that was kind of a waste. But I've got a total of 5 Horse Archer uh, units, 4 Hunnic Mounted Bows, 1 Hunnic Warlord General, um, and I've got a total of 4 3-step Lancers, 1 Hunnic Dismounted Warband, a total of 4 UR Archers, and 6 UR Warriors. So it's a very, very weird build, and I don't think it's the most effective build by any means. But let's see how well it can do. I'm, I'm going to have to kite back a lot with my units if I want to win this game. Um, Vim, on the other hand, has brought a total of six heroic cavalry and a couple of Nordic horse lords, so a very strong cavalry contingent there. He has also brought, uh, it looks like, five Nordic hurlers, a couple of Nordic skirmishers, and it looks like only four hearthguard and one uh, Nordic raid leader. So the Nordic raid leader is a huge weakness for him. I, I really don't raid those units. And considering the army that I've brought with so many cavalry units with their impact damage and the fact that a lot of them are horse archers, I can just, just snipe them, snipe the general very easily, I think. Heroic cavalry already starting to take some casualties here. And, uh, you know, my, my front is protected by these step lances, although they'll get destroyed within a matter of seconds. So that's why I'm going to start pulling out my units because he's advancing a bit too quickly, although I am being quite late at pulling them out. So I'm, I'm forced to charge in here with my step lancers against his heroic cavalry. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. So here, just getting straight charges all across the board with my step lancers. Although this one heroic cavalry right here is going to destroy my Hunnic uh, dismounted warband in a couple of seconds. Uh, the heroic cavalry taking significant casualties to my step lancers. Although my step lancers are also dying very quickly. Um, moving around with my uh, with my Hunnic mounted bows. Already going to pull one of my Hunnic mount dis uh, sorry Hunnic mounted bows to this side. I'm going to do a similar thing over here. He's pulling back with his Nordic Horse Lords and his Hero Cavalry before I can bring in my war, uh, Warrior Support. Very smart move. Uh, and here his, uh, his Hero Cavalry are going to just, uh, flank charge my Heroic Warriors. Although one of his, uh, or both of his Nordic Horse Lords are basically done at this point. And uh, here he's getting uh, kind of a weak charge against my UR Warriors right here. He's uh, forced to, you know, charge in, or sorry, just chase after my uh, Hunnic Mounted Bows. And I'm just going to use that to just shoot them to death. My, I'm pulling out with my UR archers. Already one of them have died, which is just terrible for me. And that's very poor micro on my part. Although three of them remain, and I think these are some very deadly units. Of course, the UR warriors are going to be the mainstay of my army. Here, he's charging in with his hearth guard, which is not what you want to do, because you want to put those guys in shield wall. Uh, against UR infantry, when they, they counter charge, they'll get slaughtered within a matter of seconds. I've got... Uh, Archer Cavalry on, you know, very nice uh, advantages positions for me. You can see I've got a couple here, one here, and I'm going to just charge straight in uh, onto his uh, his Nordic skirmishes here with, with them. And you can see the, the damage of the, of, uh, you know, the, sorry, the powerful impact damage that these units have, even though they're just very light units, just destroying a Nordic skirmisher just by that. Um, here, I'm forced to charge in with my Hunnic Warlord against his Heroic Cavalry so that I can pull back with my UR Archers. Uh, the Hunnic Warlord is going to do terribly against these units, but I've got an UR Warrior to support here, so I'm going to use that unit to charge him. Here, UR Warrior is breaking through, uh, UR Warrior is destroying his uh, Nordic horse, horse Lords here, and then these uh, Hunnic Mounted Bows are just going to shoot this hero cavalry to pieces, uh, and that's going to be very bad for, for Wim. You can see his a lot of his cavalry have died early on in the, in the battle, which is a huge bonus for me. He's got a lot of Nordic hurlers here, and they just don't have the, uh, you know, the deadliness to, to win him the game without uh, cavalry support. Here, the heroic cavalry which caught my Hunnic uh, Warlord General uh, is going to die because I've got war warriors to support. And I've got some war archers here, which is going to take some shots against these earth guard, while my war infantry completely destroy them. Meanwhile, I'm just cleaning up shop with my uh, Hunnic mounted bows. Uh, destroying a Nordic skirmisher with impact damage and then getting some shots, I thought onto his Nordic raid leader, but it looks only onto his, uh, onto his hurlers. Here charging in, getting some surprise flank charges, surprising even to me <laughs> with my uh, Hunnic mounted bows onto his Nordic uh, hurlers, just destroying a skirmish line that way. 
and uh, these honey mounted bows actually have scare which is very very useful when you're trying to deal with uh, enemy skirmishes because a lot of skirmishes actually very few skirmishes have uh, even halfway decent morale so having a skirmish cavalry that has uh, you know that's first very light so it has excellent speed um, and second has scare uh, and third you know with the impact damage causes a lot of casualties on the charge is a very deadly uh, combination that can completely destroy uh, you know a skirmish line in a matter of seconds I think you can see these you know the Nordic hurlers are kind of a good example hold on one second so yeah the Nordic uh, hurlers are a pretty good example of this because they don't have any any sort of morale and they are you know perfect bait for your uh, you know your honey mounted post to just charge in and kill off as for the rest of the game, it looks like, uh, you know, it's kind of wrapping in my favor. The fact that he didn't have any double-handed axes is not going in his favor at this point. My Hanik Warlord still has around 30 units left and just again through that impact damage will completely destroy whatever remaining Hearth Guard he has. He's not a great leader now. You can see the uh, the disadvantage of bringing a not a great leader in full force. Look at the number of kills that uh, are the number of units that are dying there. And Uar Archers with their 50 missile damage uh, arrows are completely going to destroy them. They're starting to route with only 86 units left. I don't think they have great morale in any case. So all in all, just a very poor unit to bring, I think. You can see they're starting to waver and they've come back from routing. I don't know why they were routing in the first place. Um, but you can see the, the destruction that the uh, that concentrated archer fire has, even with a couple of seconds, uh, just slaughtering these Nordic raid leaders. They were, in, they were at full strength, uh, you know, a couple of seconds ago. And now look at them. There we go. Enemy general is dead. Uh, battle turning in our favor. So, with <laughs> somehow I managed to win with four uh, horse arches and three terrible shock cavalry. I think you can't, you can't discount the excellent um, effect that uh, cheap shock cavalry have when charging into Nordic uh, cavalry. The hero cavalry do have wedge, which uh, wasn't or diamond, which wasn't used. If he used diamond, uh, he could have dealt with these cheap shock cavalry very easily. You can see these. Step Lance is getting 72 kills on basically all cavalry. But I think the true MVPs for this game were my Hanek mounted bows, destroying some cavalry by, you know, uh, who were chasing after them, then just shooting whoever was left to death, and then, you know, charging into the Nordic uh, hurlers, who themselves got a lot of kills, which, uh, which is pretty surprising. Or archers, some of them did pretty decently, but most of all, they're just kind of a waste of money to bring. And uh, Uar Warriors, of course, one of the best units, uh, proving their worth there. Anyways, guys, that's the end of this battle. Hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more. Peace.